Well, it's the second day of All-Stars, and I'm joined right now by a Spanish person who's in Spain competing. Expeque, how's it going? Ah, it's really good, really good that you said uh, All-Stars in Spain is uh, great for me, uh, close to my house, and more fun, honestly. <laughs> I mean, okay, so I have to admit, whenever I heard that you had voted it, you in, I was very surprised, um, or at least maybe not so surprised, but I was like, is this actually a thing? Uh, you know, what was your reaction whenever you saw this, and did you always know that this was like a pretty strong chance? Uh, I, I knew that it was going to be high chances of me going. I was, of course, not sure because uh, I didn't play mid for the whole split. <laughs> I was playing AD carry, so I have my doubts about that. So I, I was uh, pleasantly surprised when I saw that the fans still liked me and wanted to see me even though I didn't play Midland for the whole split. Yeah. I mean, what is it like for you uh, navigating like all this craziness where you're playing and then you're playing in All-Stars, but then you're also running stuff and I'm sure off-season is really busy for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, during All-Stars is the most stressful. I get to I get to disconnect sometimes when I'm with the, with the rest of the guys when we're playing. It's really fun, but it's true, it's a bit stressful because in the mornings, in the nights, I have to take more care of the stuff that's going on in Orient Steel and well it depends it's uh, some days are better some days are more work but in the end this is a fun event that happens four days in the in the, the year so I, I enjoy it regardless yeah. well let's talk a little bit about off season uh, is there anything that you can uh, tell the fans because I'm sure a lot of people are curious about what's going on behind the scenes and how things have been for you and all that stuff I understand if you have official announcements you have to wait for but just any insight you can give uh, any of the fans I mean, I think uh, it's, act it's actually really fun because, I don't know, in Reddit sometimes, but in Spanish forums especially, there are some posts about Orient lineups, and I think they have mentioned every player in the world to be possible yeah. for Orient. And it's really, really, really fun because one day you see them hi getting hyped up that we're getting Dandy and Sunday, and the next day they're like, oh, no, they're not getting that, they're getting this guy instead. And then they get really sad and they start blaming me and blaming me. And then the next day they're happy again. And yeah. honestly, it's, it's really fun to read for me. I got used to it by now, and I, <laughs> I really take it like a, my newspaper every morning let's see what they say you know <laughs> you ever, but, oh, go ahead. no no pretty much that I we haven't announced anything yet even though we have uh, yeah we are decide on the players we want yeah. we are about to finalize the, with them to get to terms and yeah we will announce it as soon as we yeah we can announce it very <laughs> much sure uh, are there have there been any moments where you've been looking at something on the Spanish forums or on reddit and you're like that's a good lineup. I should have gone with that one that they think I'm going for. So, so sometimes, yes. Sometimes, yes. They they even gave me ideas like, oh, he could get this guy, and I was like, yeah. maybe actually I should try. You know, like maybe I should get some of these guys to be my like agents. You know, like yeah. they get them to explore regions and yeah. <laughs> tell me how to get. But yeah, they, they, these guys made really good lineups to be honest. Yeah. Some of them were a bit, a bit expensive, but <laughs> yeah. just need a couple of millions, yeah. and then I all good. <laughs> yeah, like Faker, huh? That's gonna be kind of rough. I don't know if I can pull that. Yeah, Faker resigned with SKT. Why was Yeah, they also told me, why don't you get the rocks lineup, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> the entire rocks yeah, lineup. Yeah. Just sign those guys. Yeah, it's like you just get these guys. Like, oh, there's yeah. so many movements in China and Korea, and you're not yeah. getting any of them. What yeah. is this? <laughs> That's rough. All right. Um, other than that, I mean, do you get to have a little bit of a break coming up for the holidays, or is it uh, still going to be kind of craziness as you guys get ready for LCS? I think it's going to still be crazy. Uh, I, well, I will get the. Um, how do you call it? Christmas Day and uh, New Year's Eve, yeah, <laughs> those two days. But the rest is going to be pretty, pretty busy because, well, the season starts in January already. And it's not like after Christmas we have a month or two months to prepare. Yeah. So we have to start planning all the practice. We want to make sure that as soon as New Year's is over, we can be ready to go start boot camping. And, well, it's going to be probably a week that I will be able to take off no more. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of some of the teams that are already in Korea or are like trying players out in Korea and using Korea as like still that test bed? Uh, I, th I think it's really good. That was uh, my plan at first. But then, well, the, pro the problem of going there is that you have to have a lineup close, kind of, to bring there to practice because I'm not going to go there alone and then see who, who wants right. to come. Uh, so, so in the end, it was just not possible. But I think it's... Uh, if you have five, five guys ready, it's good to go there, start practicing. Maybe you want to try some coriander you can. But it's good overall to also for the team bonding. It's yeah. a trip together. It's not so serious. You know, the screams losing or winning doesn't affect you so much because you don't have, oh, oh, we are losing and we have LCS next week. It's more of a, we are losing and we have it in one month. Yeah. It's more relaxed and I think it's a, it's a really good thing. So I wish I could have done it as well and if, it, if we were ready for it, but we just didn't have the five players to, to go there. Yeah. Kind of shifting gears back to All Star, uh, what is it like? What's the team dynamic like on the EU uh, team? 
Honestly, I think it's probably the best uh, team mood and team atmosphere ever. If any team had this atmosphere, they would probably become like the best team in the world. <laughs> but I think it's also due to the fact that uh, losing or winning is not so important. We are really here for, for the fun. Even though we are, we are trying to win the games, we're actually not trolling, we're communicating good and everything. It's still like we know if we lose, it doesn't matter, you know. So everyone is really relaxed, and I think the mood is uh, is great. You, you can ask any players. I think we are having the the most fun <laughs> of any trip. Okay. Before. You're going out and partying in the evenings? Uh, only one day. Only, only one day. One day. <laughs> only one day. Right, very good. Well, is there anything that you want to say to any of the fans that are cheering for you at the event or online, or also just getting excited for Origins next year? Mm, yeah. Well, th thank you very much for voting me for Oslo's. Like, like we were talking before, it was a surprise for me still. Um, well, it's been really fun. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, it's good that you are not too uh, critic on my play <laughs> sometimes, and well. Hopefully you guys uh, keep supporting Origin and through the you have been doing it through the bad and the good in the past and I'm thank you for that again. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you so much, Xpeke, for the interview. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of our coverage of all things All Stars here at Yahoo Esports.